Hey what's up guys, it's Bola here and today I'm gonna show you how you can boost your FPS in Call of Duty Warzone. So let's begin. What you need to do is right click on your desktop and select the NVIDIA control panel. Here click on the middle option which says use the advanced 3D image settings. Then go into manage 3D settings, go into global settings. Here what you need to change uh, from default I think um, is you need to select OpenGL rendering GPU, make sure it is set to your graphics card. Then what is really, really important is power management mode, make sure it is set to perform maximum performance. Uh, then make sure uh, that texture filtering uh, and its traffic sample optimization is on. Um, texture filtering quality should be at high performance or performance. There isn't really a noticeable visual uh, difference, so I'd recommend performance or high performance. And then uh, thread optimization should be set to auto. Some games uh, tend to do better with on or off, but I'd say auto is your best bet. Uh, configure surround physics. Here, uh, if it is auto select, make sure your graphics card is selected, or if not, just select it. And uh, always click apply. That's basically it. And now I'm going to show you. Um, the best settings, so optimized settings uh, for my GTX 1060, but you can use this uh, for other graphics cards as well. Now, uh, my goal here wasn't to get to 60 FPS, but to get to more like 70, 80, 90, 100, so it would be closer to my monitor's 120 Hz refresh rate. All right, let's begin. So display mode, uh, set it to full screen. Uh, display monitor, just select your monitor, it will be automatic. Display adapter, uh, this isn't really important, but if you have a laptop, make sure it is your graphics card because it might select your internal graphics card. Now at refresh rate, uh, make sure it is uh, matching your monitor's refresh rate, so 60, 75 or 120 or 144 hertz or whatever. Um, render resolution, uh, it should be set to 100, so you get your full uh, native resolution. But if you're struggling to get FPS, maybe reduce it down. Uh, aspect ratio automatic, uh, make sure to disable vSync if you don't want input lag. Uh, frame limit, you might turn this on, like I have it uh, to match my monitor's refresh rate or just leave it off for 60 hertz, uh, 60 FPS or uh, anything you want. Nvidia highlights, make sure to disable that. Now, texture resolution, if you have uh, a 6 gig card or uh, over that, I mean VRAM, select high, uh, if you have 4 then select medium if you have to, uh, then low or uh, under, low, so very low. Uh, same goes for texture filtering. Particle quality, turn it to low, uh, because in uh, heavy fighting scenes, uh, this can really drop your uh, performance. Uh, this is a uh, personal uh, bullet impacts. I just like to have bullet impacts, uh, but you can turn it off if you like. There isn't really a big difference. Tessellation, make sure to turn it to near. There's like a 3% FPS boost from disabled, uh, no, from near to all. Uh, shadow map resolution, uh, set it to normal. But again, if you're struggling to, uh, with FPS, turn it uh, even lower. Uh, cache spot shadows and cache sun shadows, make sure uh, both of those are enabled. Particle lighting, set to low, uh, just as particle quality. Uh, dark text ray tracing, uh, if you have an RTX card, you might try it, but if you reduce your FPS significantly and the GTX 1060 isn't an RTX card, so it goes off. Emit occlusion, you might set this to uh, disable to get a bit more uh, uh, FPS, but I like to have it at MDAO. Screen space goes to low. Uh, Anti-lacing, now uh, you might select Filmic SMAA, you will lose like uh, 5 to 10 FPS. Um, but I don't like that it makes the screen blurry, so I like to go with SMAA 1x. Depth of field disabled, you want that you want uh, one depth of field in an FPS game. Film strength set to 1, again motion blurs disabled, and film grain set to 0. 